I should be, still be having a look around anyway. That. What do you mean? Um, doing a bit of videoing. Well, you can't not on site, unfortunately. Why is that? Because it's a private building site. <laughs> Hi everybody, PJ here, and it is extremely windy today. Um, and I don't have a lot of time, so we've come to have a look at the construction site, just outside workshop. There's a place called Furbeck. Now this used to be uh, Furbeck Colliery up here, so the coal mine used to be up here. And during the war, my granddad worked here. <laughs> he, was a, he was a defty here. So let's come and have a look what machinery and what stuff they've got going off. See if there's anything exciting, shall we? Now just in between these two houses here, this used to be uh, Furbeck Pit Club. And uh, it's where the miners used to go for a drink when they'd finished the shift. But there's still the cricket pitch here, cricket pavilion. I don't know if the uh, don't know if the building's still here from the pit club, but that's where it used to be. Now where I'm stood now, this used to be the um, this used to be the offices for the coal mine. It used to be a great big building here, but uh, obviously they've knocked it down to build these houses on here. A bit muddy underfoot, but that's the life. So they're putting some massive drains in here, look. They are enormous. That must be what? 12 foot across? So that's definitely a big, uh, a big drain. There seems to be a lot of half-built houses and not a lot of people doing a lot of work. Don't know why that is. I wonder if it's a Covid thing. And then there's some houses up here that's, uh, well, more or less complete, I would say. Now, where these houses are here, this is where the pit baths used to be. So, where you used to get changed before you went down the pit, and um, where you get showered when you come up. And there was the, uh, I think the lamp room and everything was here, where you used to pick your lamps up. I think that was all here. And then up at the top, where that truck's just coming from, and uh, we can see that 360, that used to be the pit head. So where you'd go down the shaft and everything. And that hill that you can see, that is the old pit tip, the spoil that come up the pit and from sinking the shaft all got piled there so you can see it's a great big massive pile and we've got a fair bit of old equipment here so these looks like the footings for new houses there's your drive there's your house I don't know if they're going to be detached or semis. I would think they're going to be semis looking at them. Semi-detached houses. And as you can see, we've got quite a few uh, tracked 360s here and other equipment. Got a telehandler, a couple of 360s, a couple of smaller 360s, 
a road roller. So there's quite a bit happening up here. We'll keep out of their way and uh, see if we can watch them laying a bit of tarmac. Well, look at that, I've come all the way up here and they're bloody done. Tomorrow now. What time? From eight in the morning. Until what, I, what time? I don't know what time, it just depends on what I'm time the tarmac It depends on what time tarmac arrives. Yeah. Are you going to tell me a bit about this machine then while I'm here? He's your man for that. Who's He's that? Scott there, Scott Croydon. Scott? Scott Croydon from the Waverley Estate. From the Waverley Estate? Or, or Mark Lucas from oh, Renishaw. Oh. <laughs> from the Renishaw Massive. All right. And then we've got a ready own bodybuilder right here, that's Wayne. That's Wayne, is it? Yeah. Wayne the bodybuilder? Yeah. yeah. So your work's up time, I can't you? You're down on Cleelands, aren't you? That's yeah, yeah. He'll tell you about machine, he knows how to do it. Ah. So what happens then? Chuck comes along. Reverses into that. Reverses up to that, slowly tips it in or tips a lot in all in one tips go. Tips it in and then that pushes and then it. And everyone goes hiding. <laughs> and then everyone goes hiding. <laughs> and then everyone goes hiding. He goes up back at it and then, and then it gets laid off at the back of that. So I take it you set the thickness and everything oh, yeah, up do, there? You, you no, know, you do it from these, you've got computer screens. You do screens. it what, sorry? You've got computer screens and they go on to the sides of the arms here. All right. And blocks just press up and down or left and right, just an arm in and out or up and down for different levels. So how do you know what thickness to put? Well, these are, the, the gear dips, when we work for a site, a company, the gear dips. Right. They work to dips. And up there he's rolling, he's getting compaction in, so that other block there, he's testing it to see if it's got proper densities. Right. So one's flattening it, one's making sure it's got yeah. It's it's down hard enough That's and it, solid yeah, yeah, enough. Yeah, solid and compact. So I, there's another layer to go on top of that. Oh though, yeah, you were here for tomorrow and we'll be here day after as well. All oh, right. So you'll definitely catch summer. Yeah, it's just that I'm out taxi until ten o'clock in the morning. So it'll so be about half that. ten before I get here. Now after after that you will still be here then. You'll still be here. Still What's your first here. name my friend? Jason Me. Jason Me? Jason, I'm... Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Not Jason me, just no, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that's us done now, though. Oh, blimey, where's site manager's office, then? You want to be going down there, see how that... Uh, silo is. Silo is. Yeah. yeah. Just inside there, you'll see it. I'm uh, just wondering if he'll come and tell me to piss off at site. It might do, we are not having IVs on. Well, I've got, one in, I've got one in car. Yeah, all and that, all that as well. I've got one in car. Uh, and Ah, uh, that's it, uh, But like I say, if you have a word... But this, this here is still public anyway, road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not... You can't do it about it again, I think. No, can no, no, of course I can't. Yeah. I'll probably see you tomorrow anyway. Yeah, okay, do right, well, I'm good. I'm absolutely gutted. <laughs> all right, I might just go and watch these for a couple of minutes. Am I all right to stand on time, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dirt. Cheers. So apparently... He's squishing it down, and you're checking to see if it's compacted enough. How do you check if it's compacted enough? That goes there. That goes not nuclear. Well, it's nuclear P in it. A what, eh? Nuclear. Nuclear, uh, nuclear P? Yeah, nuclear. You can get that goes to like a little tiny P. Right. And uh, the the beam down, it's the stone, pulls back up through it. So that's the Doppler effect then? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you see. I know. So how long does it take? How long does it take him to get one piece to the right density? Oh, no. on the heat of the material. Right, OK. Right, in an ideal scenario, you're looking at four, two, four or five passes. All right, okay. Ten times, sitting there, and it should be a How long does this take to go off? Yeah. I'm feeling vibration under my feet. So it varies. See, stone, the air temperature, today it's quite sunny. It's got a bit of a wind. So It'll have gone off for tomorrow, though, will it? Yeah, it'll be off for tomorrow. Yeah, he said come back tomorrow and I'll catch him laying. Yeah. 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 
depending on the weather, I mean, tomorrow it's going to be a lot colder. Yeah. You can't do this while it's raining though, can you? You can. Well, if it's just light rain, you're yeah, okay. Light, light rain. So, how you work on car Mac as well then? No, I work for You work for what, sorry? Kiwa. Kiwa? I'm independent tester. Right. So, he works for work on car Mac then. So, I'll, all I want now is to see you do another test and then that's me, I'm done. And what's your first name? Mike, John. John? Yeah. Alright, John. There's still some heat in that, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. You're looking... Average 88 degrees. What temperature is it when they put it down? Uh, or does it vary? It varies that way. So, it's a noisy git, isn't it? Yeah, so ide ideally, when it comes from the fan, it should be hotter. Off the back of the wagon, it should be above 130 degrees. Should be what, sorry? Above 130 degrees. Above 130 degrees, so you won't want that on your hand then? Yeah, it makes a mess of the end of the day to get to that temperature. When it comes out the wagon, 130. When it's a roll, it's between 95 and 100. It. And of course, compressing it keeps the heat up, it increases yeah, yeah. the heat. Yeah. But if, he, if it gets below, if it drops below 90, before he's got on it, it develops a crust. It's not a right. So what will happen is, when it starts to roll below 90, you'll get what's called air voids. So it crusts in between hitting the stone and then rolling it. So when it compacts it, the bottom layer won't sit in the stone. So when they core it, you get the air holes. And if you right. pull a 7% on your air holes, it'll fail. So it, it gets like air holes in it? Yeah. Alright, okay. Right here, we're looking between 95 to 100, then it compacts it. Anything less than that, you can get a bit of growth in. And then it's, it starts with other conditions, wind, rain, yeah. sun, middle of winter, it might be... And in the summer, obviously, it keeps yeah. it heat longer. Yeah, in the summer, it keeps it heat longer. I mean, in the winter, it's... You shouldn't lay it on stone that's less than two degrees. Right. So, what does this machine actually tell you? It tells me the compaction density. And what are you are looking for? Ideally, 93. You're looking for 93? Or around that figure, somewhere around there. I can still feel it under my feet. Yeah, it's still, it's still warm. Yeah, yeah. Yep, bang on 93. Oh, look at that. Bang on, mate! You all right, mate? Right, that's magic. Right, well, thank you very much for your time. It's been super interesting. You will see yourself on YouTube. I make YouTube videos, you see all industry and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but, I mean, we, we test this, and then we, we tested the stone the well, So, the stone that's in, before the tarmac, we have some CVR testing. Right. So something from Arkham, maybe last week or this week, just gone. They would have come under CVR testing on the stone. Right, so when, the, when do they put the next layer on? How long has this got to stand? going on tomorrow, so... So let it stand for 24 hours or so, and yeah, then you put the next layer yeah. on. So they'll be putting the road in down the bottom first, I believe, tomorrow. Right. So the same course as this, base course, which is 32 mil. Yeah. So they'll finish this bit off, finish that bit off, and then it'll be the binder course, which is 20 mil, and then over here tomorrow, and the next day. I think it's a three day job this is. I didn't know that this, <laughs> laying this, was so technical. Yeah. I really didn't. Yeah. 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 Normally on sites, when they're doing houses, they leave the last layer of tarmac right until the houses are completed. Yeah. yeah. Well there's, a, there's an actual, well, there's one more layer to go on this tomorrow. They've watched classes binder course, 20 mil. And then when all the houses are built and the state gets ready for adoption by the council, yeah. then they'll put a wearing course on, which is another 25 mil of 
fine. It's either 8, 10 or 12 mil stone. Right. Bit, depending on what the council specified. Right. And that will be done all over. Right. So by that time, this road will be probably... Because uh, this used to be Furbeck Colliery, you know that, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Are you from around here? No, I'm from Derby, I am. We do a lot of work around here. Yeah. I was down at Derby last week, I was at the Rolls Royce place. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, where the, the nuclear plant where the armed police come along and said, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I live about five minutes away from it. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> they've got a bit of work on there. Right, yeah, because they've got some building work going off at the minute, haven't they? Yeah, they've always been there. Yeah. In a non nuclear facility. That's right, yeah. Well, that's the old pit tip from Furbeck. And down here used to be like the... Um, the changing rooms and the lamp room and everything, and the and I believe the colliery head was just up there. My granddad used to work here during the war. That's the Second World War. <laughs> we were deputy here, long time ago. Yeah, all gone. Thank you very much for your time. Anyway, I might see you tomorrow. Ta-da, mate. Well, there you go. That uh, shows you how complicated laying tarmac is. Absolutely fantastic. What a wonderful bloke to spend a bit of his time telling me all about it. Especially when he's got to drive back to Derby today. Uh, which is about an hour and a quarter from here, I would think. So, yeah, very, very interesting. So I'm going to try and get back tomorrow and see if we can get the machine running. Which will be great if we can. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you, Duck. Bye. So while we're walking off site, I thought I'd have a quick look, and it looks like that uh, these are going to be the show houses, and that's going to be the, the uh, sales office. Otherwise, why would you put big glass doors on a double garage? So yeah, this looks like they're going to be the this, this show houses. So they want to get these done quick so they can start getting them sold. These going to be show houses? I'm not sure. I'd have thought so with them putting big glass doors on front of the garage. Uh, what, what are you doing there, pal? I make YouTube videos. Right. So... Uh, I've just been up looking at some tarmacking. So it looks like we've got a three-storey townhouse type thing. And then two single-storey townhouses. And then a detached one on the end. Block 309 for sale. I don't know if it's completed or not. You can bet they're going to be an extortionate price. New houses normally are. No, I'm just going to. It's the building site where you can't just walk on here. It's a building site. Right. I'm not going outside, mate. I'm walking up that road. This is the site. The site entrance is there. Oh, that's all right. This has always been a public road, this, mate, up to uh, the old stone yard yeah, at the top and everything. Not, not anymore, no. All right. Not anymore. It's, uh, that's our site entrance, mate, so it's not safe for you to, to be in here. Uh, well, uh, I should still be having a look around anyway. But... What do you mean? Uh, doing a bit of videoing. Well, you can't not on site, unfortunately. Why is that? it's a private building site. Yeah, but this road's public, always has been. No, it, it's not. This is our site road. Right. So the entrance to our site is... I used to come up here and go to the club just there, mate. It's always yeah, been yeah. a private road. No, uh, it's, public it's, road. Uh, this is our uh, residential area. We obviously we're building houses here. Yeah, but well, you're not here. <laughs> no, but it's, it's not. It's a health and safety issue. You can't just walk. It's not. It's trespassing. It's private property. Yeah, private but the road isn't. There is. There's no through road, it's, it's, a, it's our site road. Right. This is, well, it's never been a through road. 
probably we purchased you know, the land. Scrap yard up there and Yeah, but it's, it's all this is all our land now, there's Right. It's all our development. Yeah. So it's private property, it's private if, if I'm being completely honest. Right. Right. This is you you're in the middle of a building site. I'm not in the middle of a road. Our road. We've constructed this road. This road's been here for donkey's years. Well, we've just tarmacked it, love. We've, we've oh, you've had to tarmac that, but this road's been here since oh, this, since look, my granddad worked here during the Second World War. This... Oh, you, you can't you can't film it or come on here. I'm sorry. All right. Who are you anyway? I'm the site manager. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Do you, what's that? You after me photo? No, no, I've right, okay. <laughs> no, no, you can't uh, you can't just walk on here, unfortunately. It's a, it's a it's a private private development. Yeah, I can understand that being a private development and that, but not this mate. Well, this 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 road that we've just constructed this road, we you can see we're tarmacking we've, we've Yeah I know, I've just been up there watching them doing it. Yeah but you shouldn't be you've got no safety I oh, ain't got no safety gear on just No, you ain't got no safety gear. Oh yeah. you got your boats on. Got, uh, yeah you can't if you have an accident from here now I'm in trouble, so... I'm not getting in trouble, mate. No, I can't. I'll can't. put my boots on and my oh, IVs and my no, helmet you, and everything. That's what I'm saying, you can't just walk on it. Gleason's a building down the road, why don't you walk in there and see... I'm going there next. Well, I'll probably tell you exactly the same as I'm telling <laughs> and you. And I'm going to that one at Dinnington and all that they're doing. Yeah, OK. All right, yeah. See you, ladies. Oh.